Welcome to Talladega Super Speedway qualifying underway for the Spit and Venom Podcast ARCA Series, part of the Sidewinder Racing Leagues. Round of eight for our playoffs, round 13 of the season. Eight drivers still in contention for a championship, including this car you see on your screen, Mike Edwards, first one out for his qualifying effort. Watch the 14 build up his speed. Jump around a bit to other drivers out on track. Cody Cleaver, Griffin Jones headed out, Ethan Evers, Jeff Price, Jeremy Scherer, J.R. Deal, Brandon Vasquez. A lot of people on track. Crozier, Travis Martin, Zach Margerson, Hayden Lowell, Wayne Swart, Dominic Lee. It's a party out there. Catalano in the four. Giglio in the 16. 23 cars, last check. Qualifying gets underway. You should see Edwards, one of the first cars to put a time down, so we'll ride along with the Loki themed number 14. Halloween for the Spit and Venom Podcast Arca Series theme tonight, so all the Delta Prime cars went as various Marvel characters for their trick or treating at Talladega. You see Loki on the hood. <laughs> Mikey a little bit closer to the wall than you would think for a high line run. You get too close, it slows you down. Some lot of time starting to trickle in. Got a crozier. 45 Pontiac times in quickest so far, and Zach Margison steals that spot. 55 57. 53 57, excuse me. I don't know where I got 55. Probably look at his car. <laughs> Top three are the 55, the 45, and the 1 5. A lot of fives. E squeeze. Brandon Vasquez jumps up to the top in the 20. Again, these are all lap number one runs. Mike Edwards, second lap, jumps to the top of the charts, then Dominic Lee takes it away, then Hayden Lull takes it away. <laughs> Hayden quickest with a 53.29. Dominic Lee second. J.R. Deal in fourth, Cody Cleaver third, Griffin Jones jumps up in there, Persona four, Ford Fusion. There's Lee, Martin clocks in in seventh, Vasquez second lap jumps up to fifth, Jeff Price second lap puts him fourth, Ethan Evers second lap puts him fourth. <laughs> that was quick. What up Zariah? Welcome on in. Hayden's still top of the charts. Montrose, second lap for the Iron Man car. Clocks him in at six. The gold looks so nice. Blake Giglio, lap number two, and the 16 goes to the pole with a 53.28 in the Free Neo Chevrolet. Trent Sneed in the 81 out on track with time winding down. Let's see if he can steal the pole here. Talladega. Trent not always good at this type of racing. Looks like he's timed his qualifying just right. Be about the last car across the line. Fifty-three point two five six. Trenton goes to the top of the charts as time expires in qualifying. Trenton Sneed, your pole sitter for tonight's race. Well done, Trenton. Right on time for the eighty-one car. 
wait for drivers to queue up on track so we can run through our starting lineup presented by our friends at Labor 12, but we'll go ahead and kick off the tunes as we hang out and wait. <laughs> Perfect timing. There's Trenton. It's the 81 car out there on the grid. Wait for everyone to grid up. He's put a little bit of a ghost theme on there with the Sneed Tomb, some game part dripping font, and then it has a ghost at the end chicken head between the Corvette logo and the chicken USA and just fonts there. It's a nice look. Still quite a few drivers not out on the grid yet. Mama Proud. Still waiting on Dominic Lee, Jeff Price, Andrew Beach, Tyler Layden, Daniel Wallen. Get on track, boys. Alright, they're not there, they're not there. Here we go. Sorry, line up. Presented by our friends at Labor 12. Trenton Steve, pole sitter in the 81. Corvette. Yes, Corvette. That's what Trenton rolls with. That's what we go with. <laughs> like Giglio, the free Neo Chevrolet starts in second. Hayden Lowell, the Napa Ford, starts in the third spot. Griffin Jones, Persona 4 car, starts in the fourth spot. Dominic Lee, Scooby Doo Chevy, starts in fifth. Ethan Evers, Black Widow Camaro, starts in the sixth spot. Jeff Price, Back Channel Productions Pontiac, starts seventh. Ian Montrose, the Iron Man Chevrolet, starts there in the eighth spot. Cody Cleaver in the Hawkeye Chevy, starts in ninth. Brandon Vasquez, the Exalta Chevy, starts 10th. JRD, the K-City Roleplay Mustang, starts 11th. Mike Edwards, the Loki Chevy, starts in 12th. Travis Martin, Taco Bell Chevy, 13th. Andrew Beach, Side Pipes Pontiac, 14th. Zach Martinson, Eason Transportation Group, Nissan, starts 15th. Adam Crozier and his, I don't know, you will call that Ghost Rider hell, hell schemed thing, <laughs> start in 16th. Wayne Swart in the Scots Ford, starts in 17th. Jeremy Scherer in the Reese Chevy, he'll start in the 18th spot. Patsy Catalano M9 Sim Sport Chevy starts 19th. Then it jumps to Tyler Lanen, skips 20th. <laughs> Guess we have no 20th. Tyler Lanen, he's got this Brian Hicks driving experience, Sheldon Creed, Kevin Harvick thing going on here. <laughs> he'll start 21st. Jeremy Clapperville, Martin Sport Chevy, 22nd. Daniel Lawalman, Labor 12 Pontiac, starts 23rd. Cody Brown, AC Delco Chevy, 24th. Neil Ashenbrenner. He'll start the Thor Chevrolet in 25th. So it says 25, but I think there's only 24 cars here. I said skip 20 on the lineup. <laughs> no, stuff just does what it wants, apparently. Trying to sneeze your poles later. Appreciate Labor 12 providing us with those tunes. And 55 laps. Get the business done here at Talladega. Which that means our halfway is the end of lap. Making me do math 28. <laughs> it's halfway is 27 and a half, so you go to the end of that lap, and that will be 28. Twenty-four cars set to contest this one. Work out of turn number four. Those red banners on the windshield indicate your playoff drivers. Still eight drivers going for the title. They have two races to try and make it into the final four. A win guarantees you in. Pace car heads down the pit lane and we are set to get started here at Talladega. Green flag is in the air. We are underway for our 55 lap main event tonight. Already cars dropping to single file towards the back. And there's already a car around. Jerry Shearer and the four. Patsy Catalano. And our caution comes out before we even get to turn one. Jerry Shearer got turned right there by the look like Tyler Lanin machine. Laning in the 64 Pennzoil car. 15 checks up. He does not get into the back of Share. Turns down into Catalano. We have our first caution. Land on the binders. All I'm saying is Andrew's first race back, and this happens. 
please, please, do not let this be what this is going to turn into. What? Hey, I'll be putting that comment in my Google Doc. <laughs> I'll be putting it in the document. So you check up on the outside line, and Lainan just document. doesn't. Plows into the back of the 15, sends him around, takes out Catalano in the 4. Catalano gets it's pretty significant nose damage on the 4 car. Pretty solid hit. See if the 21 survived that. It's very close for his nose. Now he got a little bit of damage and then popped back out. Okay. <laughs> Hi Racing doing weird things for Halloween apparently. Watch his nose one more time with his 21 guard. Hey, sir, in the back, 10 and 3. Leaning into 15, shoots down the track, and you saw the 15, or 21's nose. Hello, welcome to the ice case 55 here at Talladega Super Speedway. I am your host. How are you See? doing, Michael Edwards? See, that was the problem, is that we did okay. it 55 laps, so it made it Margison-like. Should have never made it 55. You're okay, Michael. You seem angry. <laughs> Lane in redeeming punishment, <laughs> since he wrecked the field, or just two cars. Let's see if we can find Trenton. Have a chat. As soon as he disappears. Trent! Oh my god. Hello? I love how it always quacks at me and I never understand why. That's that's the soundboard. It's just creepy. I've set for a soundboard. Every time I, I uh, enter a chat, it plays a quack. It's terrifying. I mean, it's a lot better than what some of the other people I know use. That's probably true. But that doesn't make it any less terrifying. It's the, hey, that ducks are killers, man. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Almost as bad as geese. Oh, I hate geese. So you got your qualifying lap in just one time, and well, we're going to talk about that since the start of the race sucked. <laughs> How are you feeling so far about the pole you picked up? Well, the the last two times it's happened, it's happened really flipping well. It has. So, you know, I'm down for three for three. Maybe don't say flipping when you're at this track, though. Do what? Maybe don't say flipping when you're at this track, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I could almond dinger it. <laughs> Which, I was there. That's actually, this paint scheme's kind of a special for two reasons. One, I was at that race, the 2010 F Energy Juice 500, and that was also my first air race I ever went to. Uh, Junior, I think, plowed the back of Jeff Burton. I didn't get to see that because it was on the other side of the racetrack. I was sitting... Oh, Jeff, sorry. I was sitting... No, I wasn't Allison Grant. That was the Trial Tower. And I, I saw Almondinger flip. And I remember little 10-year-old me sees, like, the back of a car in the air. I'm like, oh, my God, someone flipped. Holy crap. <laughs> and you still do that today. Yeah. Oh, God, you should have been with me when I saw Perisco for a wild ride. <laughs> I was like, I was like you're acting like this is just something a young you did. Like, no, this is just what Trenton does. Yeah, no, nothing's changed in the 12 years since. <laughs> if anything, it's gotten worse. Perfect. Is the alcohol helper now? Uh, depends who you ask. <laughs> if you think it's funny, then yes, it gets a lot better. If you're annoyed by it, then it gets miles worse. But do you still wop, bop, bop? No, I never, I never did that. That's that was that was more a beaches shtick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Could you let Trent back already? No, keep it no, up. No, I like it up here. <laughs> Give me back my pookie bear. And I'm kicking his ass. No, mine. <laughs> I don't know why he started that. That's the limit out of all things. Freaking pookie bear. Hello, lovers. Hello. Hello. Where am I at? Uh, Talladega. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad you told me. <laughs> I thought I, I thought I was at Dover. Thought you were at Dover. Dear God, no, you're not at Dover. Yeah. But I'm, I'm glad. That's about a thousand miles north. <laughs> just about. <laughs> at this point, is everybody in our chat just about the amount of dings that I have? 
There's a lot of voices in my head. <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> the voices persist, but so do I. Perfect. Are telling me to commit tax fraud? Oh. I left. Telling me to commit something. I just left the only two that were but complaining no. by themselves and brought everyone else in here. <laughs> You're telling me to commit arson. Perfect. All right, we well, all have fun. How are you tonight? Don't die. Okay. That's fair. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> since uh, since Hayden and Jeff complained about uh, me taking people, I, I just brought them all that weren't. <laughs> Everyone in Chance 2 just popped in here that weren't Jeff Price and Hayden Law. But Trenton, your poll sitter, we had a little chat with him about his poll since, well, we had a wreck before we even got the turn one. Thanks to Tyler Lanin driving through a car that was in front of him. Let's try this again. We have successfully knocked four laps of the race off my pacing. Now we have a 51 lap race. What do you think, chat? Do we make it a full lap? Pass the start finish line. I physically couldn't see the track up. I'd like to apologize. I'm so confused now. <laughs> it's okay, everyone it is. Oh my gosh, inside's only shaking up a bit. Fortunately, everyone settled in. Trent Sneed breaks out to the lead. Hayden drops in behind. Dominic Lee third. We have Griffin Jones. He's clear. He can drop down if you like. Then you have Black Widow and Iron Man, Jeff Price, Hawkeye, and the Cave City car of J.R. Deal. We made it two turns. Can we make it a lap? Just the tri to go. I'm holding my breath to see if we make it a whole lap. <laughs> tiggity tall, we made it a whole lap! Out of yellow. Outside line starting to get a little more organized. Just see the one and two. Montrose and Cleaver leading the way on the high line. J.R. Deal, Travis Martin. I'm so proud of all you. And then Margison. <laughs> Outside line, getting quite a good push here down the back stretch. Montrose now alongside Trenton Sneed. Do it. Do it. Hey, Trenton, I forgot to tell you, Chrissy said good luck. Thank you. <laughs> there you go, Chrissy. Made sure to get it in there. So weird seeing Montrose in a red and gold car. <laughs> Messing with my head. Blake doing Blake things. <laughs> All right, so it seems like seems like that first caution made everyone settle down a wee bit. We haven't seen that third lane that they're just talking about. You want a third lane, you said? Beach says he's bored. Did you say you wanted a third lane? God, I don't think anyone actually wants a third lane. Other than Beach. I think they might want a third lane. God. <laughs> Playoff drivers are probably saying, no, no, thank you. What? I say that, and then Edwards goes to that third lane. Apparently Edwards does want the third line. Now we got two more ahead of him going to the third line. Look like J.R. Deal and Travis Martin. Like, I love the do it. <laughs> Getting to do it for I the third like line from Jake. 
Where's the beef? The beef yeah. comes after we get the third lane. We get the third lane, then we crash, and then we get the beef. That's how it works. <laughs> Who's cooking the beef? That's a great question. We got a Taco Bell car in here, but I don't know if that's really considered beef or if it's mystery meat. This is scary. Is it scarier than eating Taco Bell meat? <laughs> now we're very well three wide. This is a nice field killer. Something happens at the front here. Almost all of them are going to go in it. Yeet! 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 Yeet us to lead us. The Trenton leads the bottom line. Montrose leads the middle line. Deal's leading the top. Oh my gosh, Hayden out of shape through the trioval. Just about got into the door of Cleaver. With Hayden, Cleaver, and Travis Martin all side by side, we have three three wide of purple cars. Pretty great. Inside lane prevails through the corner, taking the short way around. Now the middle and outside lines will pick up. As they get down the back stretch, pick up that momentum. I can't believe we've made it three wide this long. Trenton's getting him some laps led. It's like the 30 car seen enough. Dominic Lee to the apron. It's going to drop back on the inside lane. And pop back in behind Clapper Newell. Slows down that inside lane quite a bit. It's like lane in drops from the middle to the bottom line. Fills that void. Inside line is definitely dancing quite a bit through the trioval. Top line's down to three, really only two cars. Edward's a bit back from Martin. Andrew Beach has joined that middle line. Behind Margison, Cleaver, and Montrose. And gets another lap led. <laughs> Montrose might get him one there, but nope. Aiden Lowell keeps pushing up on that middle line through the corner. Pushing Ian Montrose higher and higher. car of Vasquez has joined the outside line with J.R. Deal and Travis Martin. Griffin Jones up into the top 10. Jones the 53 on the inside, white and green forward. Aiden breaks through to the front. So he's able to get up in front of the middle lane and then push to the lead. If you change lanes like that, I'm going to turn you, dude. That's not a smart move. Please don't turn on my back. I dare you. <laughs> I so Hayden. Time to line up and be square. 
pushed up in front of Montrose. Now Giglio is pushing up in front of Hayden. Now Deal's leading the bottom line. <laughs> 16 and Giglio down in front of Deal. Trenton keeps getting shuffled back. Have they made the gem for and this the same reason for Or nah? Or nah? Not if you don't do it correctly. I know with the Gen 4 you get away with it and it's the same car, but I don't know. You can push these things, it's just you gotta you got be careful and you can't do it like down a city or a truck and you just slam to the back of them. Yeah, don't do that. That'll be a wreck. Right. <laughs> Definitely don't do how we do in the Cadillacs. <laughs> That'd be an instant wreck. Rule of thumb is if you don't know, then don't try. I mean, if it's the same as the Gen 4, and it's just like you gotta be easy with it, then I, I'm fine. So back down to double wide racing. Looking through timing and scoring, all 24 cars are still in the lead pack. And on the lead lap, those you can't see on your timing screen are Dominic Lee in 21st, Ethan Evers 22nd, Adam Crozier 23rd, and Will Ashburner 24th. It is B-Squeeze, Brandon Vasquez. Now we're going three wide again. Margison to the outside, takes Clapper Newell with them. The one and two both peak up high. They ultimately stay in the middle, and then they come together. That's Tyler Lane in across the nose of, looked like the four car. Nobody got turned. Oh, God. Thank you, Jeff. Holy shit. <laughs> Fortunately, they were able to get that straightened back out. Yeah, that was so welcome. Look back at that again. <laughs> four, Catalano in the middle. Margison high. Catalano tries to make a four wide here. Sticks it inside the two. They don't know that they're four wide. They lane in and two come together. Lane in does an outstanding job turning that race car straight again. The 64 is turned around just about. Bounces off a of cleaver that keeps him from going all the way around, then suddenly goes back straight again. That is impressive. Caution is out while we were watching all of that. Sorry about that, sure. I was trying to avoid the car came back up on the track. Catalano all the way up the track again. Here's and Asher Brenner gets into the 15 and turns him. The hell happened to Catalano there? I don't know how I mean he didn't hit anything there, Jeff. It's like Lane just drives into the four car. Yeah, no shit. That's the second car Lane has just driven right through tonight. I'm real surprised we didn't wall him up on the back stretch from the first time. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. It was insane. Ashburner tries to avoid the four, gets into the 15, turns him. We were right in the middle of it. Hey, Tyler, what uh, what happened there? Uh, I went to go under him, and he was not a fan of it. Really? <laughs> He held his line. He's there, he's there, he's there. He, bam. <laughs> I mean, I know I wasn't happy with him, but I wasn't going to turn him in front of 20 cars. There's no room between the yellow line and that car. I don't know where Tyler was trying to go. There's no room. I mean, Catalano does come down a little bit, but there's no room. Definitely you at Nashville. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> no question. Comes the field to the pit lane. Should see a lot of 
topping off of the tanks. Probably won't be very many taking tires. If they do, they want to go to the back. <laughs> At least you were honest about what you did. <laughs> That's fair. Well, shows you what the hell I know. Looks like a lot of people are taking tires. Off the pit lane they go. Woody Cleaver, Adam Crusher. That leaves Jeremy Scher, Tyler Lanen, and Will Ashbrenner all taking damage repair. Not wanting to use their fast repairs too soon. We'll see if they're able to get those repaired well enough that they stay in the draft. But a lot of nose damage on the 15 left front is very bashed in, and Ashbrenner center of the nose is very pushed in, as is the right front. Those cars will be a little bit of a handful in the draft. But back on track, see what everyone's pit cycles are about. We have fresh tires for Giglio and Hayden Lull, first and second. Mike Edwards was a fuel stop for the Loki machine. Ethan Evers Black Widow car, fuel only. J.R. Deal in the Nine Cave City car picks up tires, as does Trenton and Montrose and Margison and Martin. Jeff Price a 10 second stop, maybe took two, who knows. Dominic Lee a fuel stop. Griffin Jones, four tires. Wayne Swart, four tires. Clapper Newell, fuel stop. Cody Brown, four tires. Daniel Llewellyn, four tires. Andrew Beach, four tires. Vasquez, four tires. Catalano, a fuel stop for the four car. A little surprised didn't have to take some damage repair. Cody Cleaver did go in for damage repairs. He was involved where the four and 64 turned into him. So he had a little bit of optional to work on. Adam Crozier, he took four tires back out 21st. Tyler Lanin catching up to the field. We saw his issues as he heads back to the pit lane. We have Jeremy Scherer. Left front looks a little better after those repairs. Will Ashbrenner. Oh, I love Neil on the tail light. 26th car looks pretty rough. Right front, the center, and then the right rear. All torn up on that Thor Chevrolet. No. <laughs> just just no. I miss the entertainment. I don't miss getting wrecked. Although it still happens, so it's kind of a moot point at this point. It'd be even more likely to happen, Jeff. <laughs> Wall hit me. Nine seven what fuck? What fuck? Yeah, Blake, what the hell? Lucas is registered for this race, so where is he? <laughs> I don't know. What fuck? I don't know, what fuck? Probably playing City Five Hundred Three, I think it is. And having milk for cookies while he's doing it. Why? Cookies sound nice. <laughs> cookies do sound nice. <laughs> Cookie sound delightful. Alright guys, last time we're gonna say it, stage is at the end of lap twenty eight. What lap is the stage on? <laughs> <laughs> it ends on lap sixty nine, got it. I don't even have that many laps. Twenty nine and a half, that's Roger. End of lap 29 and a half. Yeah, the stage ends actually ends with the speed in Talladega coming off a of board. <laughs> God, that would suck. Wouldn't it technically be the back stretch if we're going to get serious about this? Giglio goes rather early. He gets all the way on the apron. <laughs> Not sure what Blake's what trying to do. That was my dumb ass. Stop. <laughs> well, it feels nice and spread out right now. After all that shenanigans on the restart. Hey, got everybody 
James Wormsley, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to Talladega. Seven laps to halfway. Give away points to the top ten at halfway. We're in the round of eight in our playoffs, the opening round. We get two races to try and make the championship four. Winners automatically through. Drivers in the playoffs have the red on their windshields, including that second place car of Hayden Lowell. 14, green, black, and red Mike Edwards. The one Iron Man car of Montrose, all in the playoffs. Trent Sneed all the way at the top in that black and somewhat yellow Corvette. Now we're going three wide for the lead. Because why not? <laughs> Dayer deal, Travis Martin, Trent Sneed all the way at the top. Hayden Lowell just cannot hold the bottom in that 67 car. It's about the fifth time we've seen him not hold his line and drift up to the middle, nearly causing an accident. Oh, then Montrose gets into Martinson there. Inside line struggling to stay on the yellow line. like we have a second pack. Jeremy Scherer leading group number two. And Scherer, Lanen, Lawallen, Catalano. Then Crozier and Asherbrenner. They have damaged race cars. Struggling to hang on to the draft. Blake Giglio on the inside lane. Mike Edwards and the three of Ethan Evers through the middle. He didn't almost turn Giglio at the front of the field. That would have been horrible. It's worth noting Hayden has said many times he hates this style of racing. That second pack is now side by side with one another. Mike Edwards clears down to the bottom lane. J.R. Deal takes his spot in the middle lane. Mike Edwards in the Loki machine going to get a lap lead. Helps his playoff situation. Blake Giglio pops up in front of J.R. Deal, trying to take the lead back through the middle. Trent Sneed, Travis Martin, the only two now in that outside lane. Daniel, go ahead and man, let's go down. I'm trying to push you. Well, Margison's gone to the top lane to join Martin and Sneed. Hayden Lowell pops out in front of Blake Giglio. Ian Montrose, Cody Cleaver fill the hole Giglio left. Hayden's going to lead this lap and help his playoff picture. Does Hayden drop to the bottom or stay in front of Giglio? So far stays in the middle. Tyler Lanen getting very grumpy with the group he is with. Keep going side by side instead of working together in a line to try and catch the pack. They were five seconds back, now they're seven and a half in that group number two. Travis Martin starting to peek ahead a bit in the Taco Bell car. What's the plan? They don't have one. Plan? How would we plan? We 
give away stage points at the end of this lap. Blake jumps all the way to the high line, leaving Hayden. Here come all the stage points. Mike Edwards picks up the 10, Montrose 9, Cleaver 8, Giglio 7, Hayden 6, Stomach Lee 5, Travis Martin 4, JR Deal 3, Jeremy Clapper Deal 2, and Trenton picks up the final point. JR Deal in the middle, pushing Hayden Lull. Top line looks like it is Blake Giglio, Travis Martin, and a bit back to Trenton. Trenton said he was overheating some. Martinson in the 55, dancing around. Now Giglio down to the second line. Brings Martin with him. That leaves Trenton plenty of air on the top. He was the only car up there for a moment. And Travis likes what he likes, goes back to that top line. Inside line is Loki, Iron Man, and Hawkeye. And then Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Until it's a Halloween theme night tonight. Hayden clears to the inside line in front of Edwards. Leaves Deal and Giglio with Margerson in the middle. Martin and Steed up top. Everyone back to Jeff Price and 18th are in this lead draft. 13 seconds back now to Daniel Lawallen, Catalano, Jeremy Shear, Tyler Lanen. That group's been I racing one another. I'm listening, buddy. I'm listening. Looks like they're coming up on a three wide. We're going to go four wide. Is it go by Will Asherbrenner? <laughs> oh my god. Good job, guys. Field was three wide. It went around the lap car on the high side. That was impressive. Martinson into Edwards. 55 and 14 make contact. Artisan's Nissan seems to be dancing around a bit in the middle line. Hayden's going to drop down. Looks like he wants to go to the tail of the pack. Cody Brown moving up to let him in. Martinson's up to the fifth spot, now pushing Trenton. It's 55 cars making his way to the front. Got eliminated in the round of 12, but still out here having a good showing for the Easton's Transportation Group. There's Veros hanging out. JR is in the fourth spot. I know that's who you're going to ask about. Third car on that inside line. Blake all the way to the bottom. Now it's Giglio, Martin, Deal, the inside line. Jeremy Clapper Newell in the 21, trying to figure out what lane he wants to go in. What's up, Moog? Trenton had the pole. And running good tonight, currently in a third spot, leading that second line. So he gets the help from Margison. Now he's going to go for the lead. Oh, so close to leading that lap. I think Giglio may have had it. Back down to two wide racing and most cars down to the bottom. 
Car up ahead looks like Adam Crozier, 23rd place car. Our driver probably needs to make one more stop to make it to the end. It's been 15 laps since we turned them green again. 22 to go. They could conceivably cut it in half. Go in about three more, four more laps. Jumping back three wide as we're catching a car. That's terrifying. 55 and 20. Marderson and Vasquez going to have to deal with a lapped car. So they're catching the 45 of Crozier. Marderson drifts back a bit as does Vasquez. Able to get down to double wide and get around the lap machine. Drop back. Trenton announcing he was going to drop back. Goes up to the top line and starts to roll back in the Corvette. Try, yeah, trying to. Anywhere, guys. <laughs> the second pack still frustrated. They're side by side once again. 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd. Yeah. That pack pretty much. No sense to keep doing it. Just stay in line. Just ain't gonna fucking get no faster. Here comes a group of cars to the pit lane. Oh not. man. But then we doing There's it. contact yeah, getting into the pit lane. The whole Clapper Newell is around. You see the 14, the 2, the 1, and the 3, and the 30 all on the pit lane, and Clapper Newell spinning out in the 21. So Edwards, Cleaver, Lee Montrose all on the pit lane. Cleaver overshot his box a little bit. Clapper Newell spins out coming onto the pit lane. Let's see what happens on his pit entry. Car on the inside line locking him up. Clapper Newell lost it a bit and right into the one and then the 30 hits the one hard. Montrose is probably going to have damage from that in the one. I see a little bit of separation on the hood and fender. He did not take his fast repair. We'll see if he's able to stay in the draft in that Iron Man car. I'm sure we'll see a whole new pit cycle. JR Deal, Travis Martin, Blake Giglio, Margison, and Vasquez all come to the pit lane. Got some team pit strategy going on. Ian Rancho six seconds back from the guys that he was pitting with. So Edwards, Cleaver, and Evers lost their teammate there. Looks like Dominic Lee. He's pit picked man, up a penalty man. in the 30. He has taken 59 second stop. So Dominic Lee penalized. Goes a lap down. Here we go with pit sequence number two. Clapper New and Montrose have stayed on the lead lap <laughs> just barely. That is pretty much everybody that was still on the lead lap, plus Adam Crozier. Crozier gone a lap down. It's mostly the C2X team. Plus Swart and Jones. Now we go out to see where the cars that have been to the pit lane come through. Looks like the 10 tenths crew has done it best. They all took fuel only, as did the second group, but the second group is two seconds back. I'm start blasting around the cars coming off the pit lane, so they still have to get up to speed. The other cars are going to start straggling in between. We'll see where this second group decides to go. 
since they're going to have the slower cars in between on the low side. They're going to pop out and try to pass these other four cars, but they probably should have stayed. Probably should have stayed in line. This is going to slow them down some. They need to catch the front group. Do it. One spun out in the front stretch. Their caution comes out as Clapper Newell is around. Launcher just drives right in the back of him, spins out the 21. Strange. William, I'll have to let you by in a minute, buddy. Just take your time. I'm probably not fitting. Looks like Clapper Newell checked up for the group ahead of him. Montrose did not plan for that. Iron Man gives a shunt to the 21. I know else. Usually Clapper, when you get a run on people, you overtake them, you know, like you did when I came out of the pits, but you didn't when we caught up the slow traffic. Good one. Montrose angry about it. Sure, Clapper will have something it's to say. Picking them up. Big corn beef. The new Clapper would have something to say. People in hops would do that. <laughs> so that lead the ten tenths crew picked up through the green flag pit stops is gone. Yeeted right on out of here. Deal your leader, Martin second, Giglio third, Marjison fourth, and Cleaver Evers Price. Edwards, Griffin Jones, Hayden Lull, Trenton Sneed, Brandon Vasquez, Andrew Beach, Cody Brown, Wayne Swart, Ian Montrose, Daniel LaWallen, Tyler Lanen, Patsy Catalano, and Jeremy Clapper Newell all stayed on the lead lap. Dominic Lee served that penalty on the pit lane, as did Jeremy Scherer. Those two cars a lap down. Looks like Lee will be the beneficiary of the wave around. Adam Crozier gone a lap down by losing the draft. Finds himself in 23rd, and Will Ashbrenner two laps down in the 26th. He's taking his fast repair now, but that car stuck two laps down now. And here comes Air Body to the pit lane again. I say Air Body, some cars choose not to. Jeff Price did not pit in the 19. It's like Ashbrenner was ahead of him, so Ashbrenner will get the wave around question mark. <laughs> Oh no, Blake stayed out. So no wave rounds as Blake stays out. Then Price, Griffin Jones, Hayden Lowell, Cody Brown, Patsy Catalano. Those all stay out. Seven cars. Do not come down for fuel or tires. Trenton, fuel only. JRD, four tires. Travis oh, Martin, four tires. Go Cody Cleaver, four tires. Martison, four tires. Evers, Edwards, all four tires. Vasquez, Swart, Lanin picking up four tires. Montrose getting some damage repair. Montrose heading back out. Clapper Newell. Some damage repair for him. Dominic Lee hasn't been down since his uh, penalty because he is the wave around car. So he's catching back up to the field. He'll be able to come down and take a free pit stop here. So he might as well come down and put on tires. But I don't know. Maybe he didn't feel like it. <laughs> Day good is pretty great. Sometimes the racing can be frustrating, but it's pretty great. <laughs> Popcorn and wait for retaliation. Which retaliation are we talking? We'll get a hydrate in here. Thanks, Cody. Still got a little bit of grape skittle water. I should get skittles to pay me for this shit. <laughs> hey, look here, Eminem Mars. I tell people how great your drink is. <laughs> So Blake is your leader in the free Neo car. The top seven cars stay on the racetrack and do not top off the tanks. Price now second, Griffin Jones third, Hayden Lowell in fourth. Let's take a peek at them points while we're under caution. Let's see what we were looking at coming in here. Jeff Price in that fourth spot. He currently rides in second. Hayden Lowell at the top of the charts. He's currently in fourth. 
I don't see him trying to make it into the next round. I think Catalano in eighth currently rides eighth in points, currently rides seventh on track. Trent Sneed eighth on track. He's right there at fifth, three points back under the cutoff line. J.R. Deal unfortunately did not make the playoffs. Travis Martin in second on the board. He's riding back in tenth. He's part of the group that just came down for four tires. Margison was eliminated last time. Let's skip him. Mike Edwards is in 14th. He's six in points. Montrose is back in 19th. Jeremy Shear, he is currently 23rd, a lap down. Shear up against the wall here. I'm going to start playing right now, isn't it? Find the whole ramp, and now it's going to start getting done. Sure, needs to find his way back on a lead lap and a, in a hurry. I blame Jonathan out. Blame Neo. Universe hates me. That's the only explanation. <laughs> you know the whole story behind Neo. He's got the OSRL stickers on the back. D O K L E V O K I S J on the back bumper of that car is hilarious. Drink Cody, no more hydration. I just drank it all. <laughs> Here goes the pace car down the pit lane. Get that Mustang out of our way. We can go back to having fun. Giglio and Price leading us to the green. Giglio gets us going once again. Gets on the accelerator quite early. Most of the time you see folks wait until pretty much the green flag drops at restricted plate racing because people behind you get such a run. But Giglio does not care. <laughs> he just went on out there. Here comes the outside line. Jeff Price, Hayden Lowell. They're going to blast by Giglio. 53 of Griffin Jones going to jump up there with him. Just work with me, please. Andrew Beach tried to go inside of Giglio. Giglio threw a huge block and damn near wrecked damn himself. All the while, 981 and 63 all working together on the high line, and we have our caution so again. A huge gap there. See what happens to Wayne's Fort. Okay. Clapper like Newell just gets into the back of him and turns him. I wasn't going to take it, I was just getting there. Clapper Newell and Tyler Lanin are competing to see how many cars they can run into the back of and turn around. Right now they're tied at two apiece. What number angle am I looking for? Catch the pace car. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Dominic Lee almost died. <laughs> Holy crap. It's right along with Scooby Doo. This is terrifying. He's starting to go low, and he's like, oh crap, bad idea. <laughs> Cuts back right, just in time. That was insanely close. Can we get a new pair of shorts over to the 30 team? Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. What? What? Let's cook the beef, shall we? We got beef. I'll tell you right now, you mess up my lucky dog, I will wreck the whole freaking field. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I think that was Crozier right around him, yeah. A 45 car behind him. I triple dog dare you. Let leaves Jeremy Sher. Execute order 66 on the whole field. Sher would be the last car in the lead lap. Giglio's back on the pit lane. 
and missed his pit box. I'm sure he's happy that we caught that on camera. Happy dog high. Me too. I'm going <laughs> to run middle line just so we can't get by. <laughs> Whoa. Blake. Hi. How are you the only car on pit road to miss your pit box? I was on my phone. <laughs> I was, uh, you know, I came, I want to come back here, help out some teammates. Uh, Daniel, Patsy's up here, so. Big help those guys out, try to help them uh, do their thing, and uh, hopefully we don't die. I I needed fuel for the green white checker that we're going to have, because we're not going to get a lap in the green here, so. Hey, think, hey uh, Daniel. Daniel. What up? You know you're not in the playoffs anymore, right? All right I report you, dude. Yeah, I know that. Man. Okay, I was just checking. She had that red windshield banner Here, on. Here, hold on. I can, let me check it. Where, where's that red banner? Hold on, uh, hold on, let me see. Daniel, sit still. Shit happens. Daniel, hold on. There's something on your door here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got oh, it. my God. He hit me. He fucking hit me. What? Fu I'm protesting. That's it's an it. intentional wreck, right? <laughs> we can boot the 16. Oh. Yeah, I want to yeah. protest the uh, 16, please. <laughs> it's almost like I missed seven weeks. All right, well, y'all try to help Patsy get in the playoffs, huh? Get in that championship. I'm going to go forward. Yep. Watch out. If you want entertainment, ride aboard. Okay, bye. Good night. <laughs> Where's Daddy Dave when you need him? Ignore him. He doesn't need an adult. I don't know why we're adulting here. So Jeff Price is your leader. Hayden Lowell in second. JR Deal third. Griffin Jones. Trent in fifth. Travis Martin, Andrew Beach, Cody Brown, I Ethan Evers, Zach Martison, your top 10. Then Catalano. Trying to stay in the playoffs. Doesn't have the red banner on, but is in there. Yeah. Have Cody Cleaver, Mike Edwards. Edwards trying to fight his way to championship four. Then you have Vasquez, Tyler Lanen. Clapper Newell, Montrose, these two have been squabbling all caution long. Dominic Lee, Blake Giglio, Daniel Wallen, Wayne Swart, Adam Crozier back on the lead lap in his 45. Leaves Jeremy Scherer, the only car off the lead lap in the 15. Well, only car one lap down, I should say. He needs to get his lap back to try and get back in playoff contention here. And Will Asher ran her two laps down the 26. He uh, lost a bunch of draft time when that race went green, and he had a bunch of damage from the first incident. So the Thor Chevrolet two laps down. Lights are out on our Mustang. You know, honestly, y'all have made this take so long that I'm about to overheat ready to put down. I mean, good boy. This is why I race in on the way. I'm butt-ass naked. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Wait, tell me your screen. Tell me your screen. Oh, God. He don't stream no more. Prove it, Mike. He sent a Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can smell the tank juice on my chair right now. Jesus. Help. Pick he... or smell a vision and it di or it didn't happen. We need an adult. God bless it. Why do you have to say tank juice? Just say tank sweat like a normal human being. Daddy, chill. We need lots of chill. Day three of the AA Anonymous here at SRL. Rip that out, smells like a taint smoothie. Help. Send help. And I'm gonna execute order 66, holy fuck. Jeff Rice is your leader, chosen the outside line. That escalated You're the last one. Complete the mission. <laughs> I like how both of those played almost at the same time. Green flag back in the air. Price down in front of Hayden. Griffin Jones, J.R. Deal battle for third. He's got three forwards chasing that Pontiac out front. Outside line, very disorganized. Starting to see some cars jump to the outside lane. Now the top 10 is 2x2. Two two. Yep. 
<laughs> it's all about positioning your car for the end of the race. And honestly, where Hayden is is not so great. You could get lucky through a wreck, but it's not a lot of moves you can make. You're usually trapped on that inside line and at the mercy of the car in front of you. It's nice to be in that middle lane where the 53, 63, 81 are. they got options. They can jump up to the top or stay in line. But guys like JRD or Cody Brown, they're kind of stuck where they are. They don't have a lot of options. We've got three wide towards the back of this pack. Best thing about the inside line, though, if there's a wreck, you can... Hit the brakes and turn left. Go down to the grass. Middle and high lines are usually just screwed. <laughs> There's pros and cons to being in each place. Griffin Jones going to get the push from Travis Martin. Lead a lap. The three of Ethan Evers just goes to the top. Andrew Beach is with the Mike Edwards and Lanin. Blake Giglio has gone to the top to join Lane in. Daniel Wallen. Vasquez gets into Giglio, pushes him up into the fence. They go three wide under Giglio, so four wide total to get by him. Blake drops to the tail of the field. So Griffin Jones has the nose just barely ahead. The outside line picking up steam, and here comes Ethan Evers in the three car. Ethan going to lead that lap in the Black Widow machine. He's going to drop down the hill. Ethan goes to the middle line. Gets in front of Jones and Martin. Takes Beach with him. Now Edwards leading that outside lane. Has help from Lanin. I believe that's Catalano in the four. A couple of playoff drivers all the way in that high lane. Edwards gets clear. Drops out in front of Evers. He'll lead the middle line. Five laps to go from Talladega. Business is picking up. Jeff Price. He's going to get turned down on the apron by Hayden Lowell. Hayden finally gets him one. He's been trying all race. Jeff Price gets sent into the infield. Looks like Andrew Beach is trying to go four wide. Hayden Lowell is going to get tagged by... The 63 of Martin and the inside line is going to stack them up. Outside line is going to stack them up at the same time. And we have a big wreck, and I believe it was two wrecks and one. I guess brakes aren't a thing anymore. Outside line just falls apart while the inside line was wrecking. <laughs> Tyler Lane traversing down the track. So Griffin Jones gets turned from the high line while all that was going on with the other group. Let's watch the outside line. Patsy Catalano just seemed to drive through the 53. Let's watch it again. Catalano gets into the 53. Griffin Jones and turns him. Takes out the 3, the 2, 53, 55, 64, all in that. I'll go back to the first wreck. Jump down to Travis Martin. It's like Beach tries to go four wide. Hayden's right behind him. Hayden gets into Beach, then Martin gets into Hayden. Rewatch the 67. Beach was trying to go four wide, checks up. And then people get in the back of both Trenton. Trenton hangs on to it. No, no, Trav, you're fine. I had to check up for, I don't know who came in front of me. I don't know if it was Andrew or Trent, but I was trying to not get into them, and you couldn't see that, and it was just a whole... Trenton is beside you. Beach is in front of you. He comes down from trying to go four wide right into Hayden's line. Hayden stacks up the inside line. So the inside line wreck and the outside line wreck were actually separate wrecks. Wrinkled and scratched, but ultimately fine. Happening at the same time. Thank you. J.R. Deal gets punted by Cody Brown and turned. Wallen gets a part of it. The 20 of Vasquez gets a piece. Blake Giglio is around. Let's check in on our 
playoff drivers and how they are after that. Edwards leads. Trenton Sneed got a door contact out of that, but his car looks okay. Not seeing damage to the 81 car. Trenton looks like he escaped that one. Pretty fortunate there. Oh my fucking retard. Oh god. Wow. Jeff wow. Price is crashed. Good job, whoever did that. As he runs into Tyler Lena. The person that that's left. What oh, just no, happened? I feel your ass right now. Yeah, Jeff Jeff is not happy with himself on that one. I think he uh arc break somebody. Just drives through Tyler Lena. And then leaves. Hey, tell him it's all right. Normally, when there's a yellow flag, yeah, that means there's a caution, and you must proceed with a thing called caution, not just ass pack somebody at mock velocity. <laughs> Thanks for that yeah, insightful so breakdown. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I also wasn't so Edwards and Trenton look okay. Who else we got? Catalano in eighth. I think he was talking to us. And he, he lost concentration because we were fucking with him. And then I think he, I saw smoke on there. I don't know what the hell happened. Warcar looks in decent shape. Himself, uh, the word. He was calling himself low time, and then he all that forward. Can I get a grant to start in six and go take my fastest third? <laughs> One car <laughs> looks decent. Man. Checking on Martin. I think he had to take the faster okay, pair. Tyler, I'm sorry. 80 million things were in my ear. What'd you say? Jimmy Shearer threw all that. Back on the lead lap. Take my faster pair and come back to where I was. Hayden Lowell now 20th. No. Okay. I'm in. Figured ass because I got, you know. Cool. Ass pack. He got ass pack. Tyler <laughs> Lane in trying to get a free fast repair. Thank you, Daniel. No problem. I just money shifted. That's karma. Doing. Yeah, he meant to say retractable, like the retractable fun set are on him. Hayden blew up. With Hayden blowing up, that's really going to put the pressure on him for next week. Officially into an overtime. Green white checker attempt number one officially. We get three chances at it if we need them. If we make it back to the white flag, that is the end of the race at the you know conclusion of the next lap. <laughs> but if we don't, we'll line them up and do it again. Do that again. I'll break check you. Calm down, Spanky. I was just saying hi. Yes, yeah, Spanky, calm down. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so right, Edwards ready, on the outside line ready, with the 30, Daniel. Dominic Lee, and then the destroyed car of the 64. That car looks very rough. Green flag is out. Back underway we go. Edwards and Lee. Going to try and push to the lead. Looks like they have cleared Andrew Beach. Hey, in 20 needs to clear. I started on the outside, so he got a uh, passing on yellow. Here comes that inside line right back by him. Here comes.
comes the third lane. Catalano to the outside. Looks like Ian Montrose, Iron Man, giving him a boost. A couple of playoff cars trying to make hay up at the top. Four of the top six in the playoffs. Trenton Sneed, Mike Edwards, Catalano, and Ian Montrose. That's Dominic Lee and Andrew Beach. Want to make it to the white flag, so this is the final lap of the race. No more cautions. Andrew Beach leads the bottom line, Edwards leads the middle, Catalano leads the outside. Do we make it back to the... Edwards lost his drafting partners. Looks like Andrew Beach in prime position here. Trenton's probably not going anywhere. Here comes Giglio's. Blake going to try and go all the way to the outside, or is he going to push Mike? Cheers, Adam. Looks like he's going to push Mike. Mike's going to get out of shape. He's going to get Andrew Beach the win. Trenton Sneed, I believe, got second. Mike Edwards, third. Jeremy Clapper Newell, fourth. Blake Giglio, fifth. And then Travis Martin, Jeremy Scher. Scher from a lap down looking in horrible position all the way up to seventh. Crozier, eighth. Cody Brown, ninth. Ian Montrose, tenth. Martison, eleventh. Griffin Jones, twelfth. Daniel Wallen, thirteenth. Catalano, fourteenth. Dominic Lee started second or third, fourth, somewhere up there. <laughs> Ends up fifteenth. Brandon Vasquez, sixteenth. Hayden Lowell, seventeenth. J.R. Deal in 18th. Wait, what? Tyler Lane in 19th. Ethan Evers looks like he'll get scored 20th. Or Cody Cleaver. It's being weird down there at the bottom of the board. It's Andrew Beach, Trenton Sneed, 1 2. Andrew yeah. Beach gets himself an Arca win. No, not you, Brandon. I said Lannon. Sorry. I heard Brandon. <laughs> Andrew, DG in the booth. You got a copy? Yes, sir! Well, sir, we got ourselves a win in Ark in that Pontiac. How good does that feel? Man, it feels great. I wasn't even going to run this. I was going to take a nap. I'm glad I did now. Who needs sleep? Sleep's for the dead. Oh, you know what? That's fair. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> And to do it a 1-2 with Trenton, that has to be amazing. Trenton, how do you feel right about now? Oh! That's pretty good right there. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is it better than you winning when you get Andrew a win like that? It's it's about the same. I mean, LA, one of my teammates, like Jeff or someone who don't win a whole lot, helping them win, it, it makes my heart feel good. Honestly, <laughs> I was afraid because uh, I was just talking to him. Two debts have been scored and settled. Uh, he got me back season two of Wild Horse, where I wrecked us both, trying to go three <laughs> wide. And he did whatever the hell that was so that brought out that caution. Sorry. I was screaming, <laughs> Wild wow, Andrew, whoa, you're not clear! <laughs> I, I felt like I was getting peached out. I don't know what the hell actually happened, but man. You were trying to go four wide what, what happened. <laughs> uh, that's what I saw. I was just like, oh, I like, don't want to do Andrew, this. please don't. I don't want to die. And luckily, uh, I was, as soon as it happened, I was like, oh, I hope I don't have damage. Cause that's going to suck. <laughs> and then I saw that we were going to be lined up. I was like, well, buddy, if I, if I have damage, I have damage. But if I don't, I guess we're going to try to do a, a repeat of the Pizza Boy Cheesecake Wombo combo. And. Damn, it, it worked out. I just I didn't get Jack for stage points, so I'm kind of scared in that regard. Uh, but yeah, that was cool. Tan full, Andrew. You got your friends, family, sponsor shoutouts for us tonight. Oh man, I'm, I'm trying to gather my thoughts here. Uh, but first of all, I got to give a huge shout out to the Wombo Combo Man, Trent Sneed. Uh, gave me a great push there on that final restart. Um, not really sure why Michael didn't split me and Trenton up. Uh, I really feel like that was the deciding factor in that race right there. Was because he was he was trying to pick up his yeah he was trying to pick up his drafting buddy. <laughs> That's fair. 
I just I didn't know that the thirty and were teammates, but uh, yeah, that I feel like that was the big strategy there that worked for us. But got to thank side pipes if you're in the Newton Conover, um, North Carolina area. Uh, to check him out for all automotive needs. Um, STC uh, Bo, I got us a win. We'll be hearing about that. Um, BCP, want to thank them. Uh, Trian, um, Sneak Game Farm. Anybody I'm forgetting, Dysautonomia Awareness. Both of us got one now. Yep. So, heck yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to sleep good tonight. <laughs> Don't get that dopamine, big man. I, I, listen, I've got all the dopamine I can handle, and we are going to drink a lot of beer Friday <laughs> night. <laughs> you can wait till Friday, perfect. We're going to wait till Friday night, because i got work in the morning. <laughs> all right go get you some sleep and uh, congrats on the victory we'll see you back here hopefully more races this week but if not we'll see you next week yes sir Woo! andrew beach now trenton hit me with your friends family sponsor shout outs i know you got plenty and all your fans in the chat and all that good stuffs you disappeared so now i gotta find your car again <laughs> uh hey everyone in the chat if you're pulling for us thanks uh really quickly i do want to apologize to michael um i'm looking at the replay it uh it totally looks like coming through a travel I just door him. Uh, so my apologies. Uh, I did not mean to do that. I think I just clipped the apron. Yeah, I hit the apron. It shot me back up. So sorry, sorry Michael. You, you didn't deserve that door. Um, but yeah. Um, congrats to Beach. That's cool. That's He's helped me get a, a couple. You know, I'm happy I'm finally able to repay a, the favor. Um, but uh Sneak Tombstone Game Farm, Treen Technologies. Uh, we had a, a bad, fast Corvette. Not going to lie, I thought for a minute that we'd finally, finally get the Corvette in victory lane. That'd be a first, and that's that's what I'm really waiting for or hoping I can do. Uh, but, yeah, Sneak Tombstone Game Farm, Treen Technologies, STC Imperium Racing, BCR Sim Products, Smith & Venom Podcast, um, the entire C2X, Beach, Jeff, uh, Adam Crozier, Nathan Lafayette, Cody Brown, when he stops by. Um, I think I already said Jeff, but not Jeff, him and uh, Back Channel Productions. Um, Harry, Aiden, uh, Cliff, I forget anyone, my condolences. <laughs> um, you for broadcasting, uh, got to sign on me, got a, a ribbon on the, uh, the core panel. This paint scheme is loosely based off of the, the legend of Oladega. Um, I'm not good at painting, and I kind of gave up halfway through. It's like, meh, throwing my stickers on it, calling it done. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, my family, mom, dad, my sister, Uncle Lee, Whitley, if you're awake, go to bed. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's about all I got. Thank you for broadcasting, and uh, yeah. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Trent and Snead bring it home in that second position. Now we'll go find the driver of the 14, Mike Edwards. Michael DG, got a copy? Hi. Hi. Well, it was a wild night out there. It looks like you uh, scored decent points, but so close to that win, I have to be still a little frustrated. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. One stage, led laps, finished third, didn't die. So, um, should be points leader going into Phoenix, which I'm not good at. So, um, I'll take it. Survived this uh, crap show. <laughs> Yeah, and you had that beautiful God of Mischief paint scheme for Loki. <laughs> it kind of fits you perfectly, so I laughed as soon as you said that. Yeah, I'm kind of digging the black and green um, theme. Might need to look into that going forward. <laughs> it's four. All right, bud, congrats on that. P3 finish. You got the Friends Family Sponsor shoutouts for us tonight. Yeah, you for doing the uh, paint. Oh, all the team paints look great. Uh, Low games, Cave RP, Forest Screen Printing, EPI, Labor 12, um, Spit and Venom, uh, all the guys who came in to help who usually don't race, Ethan, Cody, and Dominic. Uh, just got a little loose there, but, I mean, you're going for it. So, Wouldn't, uh, can't be mad for trying. Um and shout out to my dad, mom, and grandma who always watch this and watch me crash and struggle. So, yeah, um, Hayden finished seventeenth. You know, love him, but I also love to see that. So, um, Phoenix next week and Iowa Wednesday. Why does, it, why, why does it matter when Phoenix is like his best track? <laughs> Anything can happen. It's Hayden. I mean, you'll Although, have to he's recommend. gotten better with his pit road. Issues, right, we but, can't rely on that anymore. <laughs> I mean, you know, you never know. You never know. Maybe if you just shove him onto the pit lane. Hey, there we go. 
But I mean, hey, Ian can't make it, so maybe we can get uh, Neo to log into Ian's account. Oh my god. There we go. Not again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so yeah, I'll take it on the Iowa, which is my best next gen track Wednesday. So looking forward to that. Okie doke. We'll have a great, wonderful rest of your night and enjoy your Tuesday off, and we'll see you back here Wednesday. Yes, sir. Happy night. Mike Edwards, Fingers Down P3. Let's go ahead and look at our finishing order for tonight from Talladega, in the opening race of the round of eight. Andrew Beach picking up the win. Beach not in the playoffs, but his teammate Trenton there in second is. Mike Edwards is as well, so good points tonight for both those cars. Clapper Newell in fourth, Giglio fifth, Travis Martin also in the playoffs in sixth. Cher, what a rebound. That car was a lap down with like three laps to go and finished seventh. So Jeremy Cher, one hell of a recovery all the way up to seventh, trying to keep his playoff hopes alive. Adam Crozier finishes eighth, Cody Brown ninth, Montrose in the tenth spot, said he won't be here next week, so... Ian, unfortunately, probably going to drop out of the playoffs and be seven cars fighting for four spots. Don't know why I hit that button. We need to hit this button. There we go. Margeson in 11th. Griffin Jones 12th. Daniel Wallen 13th. Catalano 14th. Dominic Lee 15th. Brandon Vasquez 16th. Hayden Lull 17th. Is, uh, let's see. Uh, Catalano and Hayden Lull 14th and 17th. Pretty far back in the points now. Tyler Lanin finishes 18th. Ethan Evers 19th. Cody Cleaver 20th. Both those cars a lap down. J.R. Deal, 21st. Jeff Price, 22nd. Wayne Swart, 23rd. And Will Asherrenner, 24th. Thanks to everyone for coming out tonight. Hope you enjoyed tonight's race. Congrats to Andrew Beach on the win. We will see you guys here tomorrow night for the triple header. Two of them on our channel. We'll have the Dirt Race, the Dirt Street Stocks, and we'll have the... Oh, man, I can't think. Xfinity Series. There we go. <laughs> I have both of those on this channel. And then the Modified Race will be over on YouTube for the CTC folks. Thank you all so much for being here. Did Beach have the decals? Yes, he does. Right across his windshield. There they are, all beautifully displayed. Um, thank you guys once again. Appreciate you being here. We'll see you guys next week. Let's run through the sponsor broadcast shout-out slider thingy. <laughs> And then we can get on out of here, pay these bills. 911fleetservices.com does our Wednesday night cup series. Cave City Roleplay does our Thursday night truck series. Then we have the Fort Worth screen printing doing our Tuesday night Xfinity series. FSM Customs does our road course series, the IMSA series, on Friday nights. Then we have our friends at Golden Eagle Syrup doing our Super Speedway series on the Friday nights. Light of My Life candles. They give away a candle every single Tuesday night. So come on by and try to win one of those for free. Light of My Life US. M9 Performance does our modified setups and modified series on Tuesday night. Sneed Tombstone Game Farm does our Sunday Street Stock series. Then we have Spit and Venom Podcast did the ARCA series you watched here tonight. And 1023 Graphics will start us off tomorrow with the Dirt Street Stock Tour. Thank you to all of our sponsors that help the world go around. If you're watching this over in the YouTube, don't forget to do all those free things like hit like, subscribe, notifications, all that goodies. It helps us get noticed in the world of YouTube. Thank you guys so much for being here tonight. We appreciate you as always, and we'll see you tomorrow.